All right. The last month has been such a battle and war that it took me a lot longer than normal to get up off the canvas and fight again. And here I am. I got eh, 11 hours left in this December. Thor News, save and support me and my news and awesomeness. And I have full faith in you guys because you guys are amazing. So here I go. We are talking about rogue planets. And I got to be honest, technically I wanted to edit this one. But I don't have time. What the hell? What are you doing now? Now wing it. Yep, yeah, here we go. We are popular mechanics. Talking about <clears throat> two more mysterious rogue planets have been found. And you know, it's like I was talking about. NASA's like Hogwarts. And a lot of it depends on the headmaster. And whatever evil entities might be running the world in all space programs. So, you know, there are 36,000 peoples there. I don't even know if this is found by NASA people. I'm just saying, they've been finding planets left and right. Rogue planets, dwarf planets, strange planets, quasars, neutron stars, brown dwarfs, red dwarfs, everything, everywhere, exoplanets. And so, maybe that's a sign. Two more mysterious rogue planets found. With no stars to illuminate them, rogues are mostly great big unknowns to scientists. Yep. And the Christian disc model probably isn't what happens. I think the sun gives birth to planets. All right. Rogue planets wander through space without orbiting a star. And now scientists have found two more of these free floating worlds. I'm going to take a guess right now. It's not that close. So you, ain't, you guys ain't got nothing to worry about. For centuries, the very existence of rogue planets was hypothetical. Just like your face. And dark matter. And technically gravity. Because they're not close to a star that lights them up. And they're tremendously difficult to spot. Then a technique known as gravitational microlensing came around. Can I tell you I got my own personal conspiracy theory here? Um, okay, so here's the deal. And I know Einstein talked about it. And um, Einstein was like the last great real scientist. And then now they aren't allowed to have rock star scientists anymore. Um, so they were like, wow, yeah, microlensing. It's, it's real. So that way, you know, we have the Hubble is 28 years old and I know I say this a lot but it's like a gunfighter that doesn't have a gun you know the fact that you're a space agency and you put no priority whatsoever on putting up a good telescope that's just weird man so it's like they had to have scientists come out with all these new discoveries and do all this new white paper science that could be submitted to paywallnature.com so it could become official blue checkmarked science, right? Well, it would be hard to come up with all this awesome new stuff if you don't have new telescopes. And so they're like, hey, no, we're microlensing now. So it's like having a, a new updated stellar optics telescope it's kind of the same thing as having a new telescope it's just the universe is doing it for us and we don't have to pay anybody and yeah that's the whole thing about like the james webb space telescope you guys are allowed to put up more than one telescope projects at the same time and there's one point where they put up like five different carbon satellites in two or three years so like you know you can have as your planetary defense commander i would put up four telescopes around the planet and technically i'd have gopros at every single planet and solar system by now or at least get them up and launched what was it talking about oh yeah microlensing i think it's funny using gravitational microlensing scientists find planets by noting when a rogue planet interrupts the star's light from our point of view oh so are we going to get a photograph of these two things 
I'm going to guess no. No or not. <sighs> I've been doing this for a while. The planet suddenly acts as a lens for the star's light, curving it as it would be seen from Earth. The bigger the planet, the bigger the interruption. Because size matters. Unless you're a neutron star. Then size still matters. It's just small. It's not the most efficient system. Some astronomers, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, where have I heard that name before? Estimate there are billions of rogue planets within the Milky Way. While humanity has proven, wait, what day was this written? I gotta check. In the 9th of November. I bet if you wrote it today, you probably wouldn't have included that. What a strange era. Glad it's almost over. But while humanity has proven great at finding exoplanets attached to stars, scientists have only identified a dozen or so rogues. It's because they're, they've gone rogue. Rogues don't usually like to be found. And if you see them, it's usually right before they kill you. Or that's what I found out in World of Warcraft. Because my main was a paladin who was healed 97% of the time and I spent like 3% of the time trying to be a shock it in and then my secondary was a rogue because I liked PvP yeah battlegrounds not arena sorry about that okay that's what makes adding two more to the pile such a big deal so we got a big pile on our hands here the planets are officially called Ogle 2017 BLG 0560 and Ogle 2012 BLG 1323 respectively and isn't that an Illuminati number right there three the two and the three skull and bones which basically just means pirates who are the people that founded our country okay a history lesson here with this astronomy you're welcome their names stem from how they were discovered at the optical gravitational lensing experiment at the Las Campanapalamas observatory in Chile Chill out. The first one could be anywhere from the size of Jupiter to the size of 20 Jupiters. Well, there's, there's a range for you. It's kind of like... I won't make that joke. Okay, yeah, I will. And if anybody has children, cover theirs now. It's kind of like being like, if a woman asks, how big is your penis? Go like, well, it's anywhere between 2 inches and 40 inches. Oh, uh, okay, maybe that joke didn't work well. You can uncover your children's ears now. All oh, the latter is between the size of Earth and Neptune. Nothing is known about how far they are from the solar system. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, so they found two rogue planets. Maybe I'm just, because I, like, I really am, I just feel tired. Like, the last... Two, three months just getting the shit kicked out of me. For being cool and trying to be a hero. So maybe I read that wrong. Nothing is known about how far away they are from the solar system. Oh my god. Okay, this is great. This story is interesting. Scientists are hoping that the transiting exoplanet survey satellite launched April 16th will give exoplanet and rogue planet hunters a new advantage in learning more about the mysterious bodies that apparently surround the solar system wow was that the whole article what the hell just happened okay I hit a button that was the whole article that's crazy so they found two rogue planets they have no clue how far they are that could be the weirdest story I ever done so far okay great anyway you guys are awesome and I want to say you know doing this for six years I love you guys you guys have been amazing and there are good people out there and it's us asteroid fight club the astonishers yeah the energy has been weird but hopefully it's starting to pick up and things will be awesome by February yeah asterisk we'll see but if you can't afford it and do want to reward me for my six years or last month or 
speculation that I will make awesome videos in December. Or for my birthday, which is the 19th, or Christmas, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know why. P.O. Box, I don't have one anymore. So I'll leave my PayPal link, and I just want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me and science and shit. You know, it's all weird. Everything's weird. But weird is the new normal. So everything is normal. And I love you. And so stay cool. God bless everyone. Let us live long and prosper together and continue to survive. And let's start to thrive. Okay, peace out. Hit the button, baby.